Discoveries of oil in the world are declining, and at the same time, roughly half the world's population in China and India want to have the same lifestyle that we have in the U.S. This requires new sources of energy. These tall grasses are potential sources for advanced biofuels. The U.S. has hundreds of millions of acres of marginal lands that aren't adequate for producing foods, but would be adequate for growing energy crops like switchgrass and miscanthus. These plants are roughly half sugar, and yet it's very difficult to extract the sugar from these plants. This sugar could be turned into transportation fuels. At J-Bay, we are engineering these plants to more readily give up their sugars. Roughly an acre of these plants could be turned into hundreds of gallons of advanced transportation fuels. We're also engineering microbes that can extract the sugars from these plants without significant pretreatment and turn those sugars into advanced transportation fuels like gasolines, diesels, and jet fuels that can be used in our existing cars, trucks, and airplanes. The process for transforming harvested switchgrass into advanced biofuels is to first grind the switchgrass into small particles. That We then treat it with ionic liquids that extract the cellulose and hemicellulose polymers and give very clean cellulose and hemicellulose. Then we would normally add very expensive enzymes to degrade the cellulose and hemicellulose into sugars. The breakthrough at J-Bay has been to engineer an E. coli to produce those enzymes, secrete them almost free of charge to us, and then transform those into the advanced biofuels. This is a process very similar to brewing beer, except that rather than producing ethanol, we produce an advanced biofuel. We skim the fuel off the top of the tank, and it's ready to be put into your automobile, or into a truck, or into an airplane. The results of this research will develop a new industry that will be based in America that will create jobs for Americans, that will power our economy, and that will be good for the environment.